Hi everyone, my name is Anton, and today we will finally talk about Rockchip 3566. I have been interested in looking at this board for a long time, and finally here it is. This is Radx 03W. A few words about this board. What's good about it? It cost twenty dollars. It's completely normal Linux inside with an NPU model and pretty good inference framework for it, Arcane and Toolkit. There are several different board options, like different amount of memory and different uh, peripherals, like uh, 3W is uh, Wi-Fi board and 3E is with Ethernet connection. In this video, we will talk about several things. First, how to configure this board for computer vision. What are the disadvantages of this board? And what are the advantages of this board? Of course, everything will be around computer vision. Let's start from system installation. To connect to the system, you will need either a monitor with HDMI, mini HDMI connector, this one, either UART connector. Uh, in theory, it should be possible to connect via USB interface, but I didn't succeed. Uh, judging to the guide, there is only possible after manually activating this uh, inference, but it doesn't work out of the box. So for the first connect, you need somehow to set up this board and connect it to your local Wi-Fi. I don't know why this is like this. There are dozens of boards with LAN over USB connection. For example, this one, it's Milk V, like previous boards on my channel, but specifically for this work, uh, this board, this trick doesn't work. And by the way, uh, they missed TXRX connector for UART in the documentation. Like uh, there is no uh, scheme about how it should be connected and only like information where you should connect what. And they miss this documentation. But it's easy to debug this. With this board and PU may not work out of the box. Although the were boards where everything worked, according to my experience, but the official position of the manufacturer was pretty interesting. Here it is, like it will, it may not work. But uh, thanks to Rienz, the authors of Q Engineering, uh, he found a way to make the board see the drivers like almost every time. But as you can see, this may not work on board with one gigabyte memory. For my board, it's two gigabyte of memory, so everything was fine. Uh, after this installation, everything goes according to the plan. Currently, you don't even need to copy the drivers to the system folder. Just git clone, pip install, and so on, you will have working environment to inference your network on your board. Let's talk about the board itself and the speed of this board. I tested several different neural networks. All tests will be in full list. I will put the link in the description. And I was a little disappointed. Look at the comparison with RCAS 3568. According to documentation, the chip is the same. But the difference is exactly two times. Elsru on both boards, as you can see in documentation, there is one the ops for int 8 inference. So it's pretty sad. It may be caused by, for example, some Radx drivers or some this what it is. I also checked how much it possible to speed up the inference through parallelization. 
because for uh, some of rock chip boards it's possible to boost inference through running same network in a few independent threads. For ERCA3588 it works perfect. It's like gives you ten almost 10 times uh, increase of the speed. But for ERCA3588 it's three independent NPU cores. For ERCA3568 it gives you only 1.5 speed up boost which is also not bad for this specific board the speed boost was around 20 percent which is also not bad but it's like not critical not something critical to modify your pipelines usually and of course you can run it only with two inference stream after third the speed in speed doesn't increase after the third stream and few additional words about this board. First of all, I run a few CPU speed tests, and of course this board is worse than 3568, but not critically worse. And speaking of the thermal balance, this board is pretty nice. You can run it without like special cooling, but of course, if you will have it, probably in some environment, it will be better. But passive cooling is enough. In my opinion, this board is a very good example of technology development. Of course, there are a lot of problems, especially probably with the RADX environments and so. But this board is great. On my channel, there was many boards with for computer vision without like good linux on them where you couldn't install like existing libraries existing software and so on but specifically for this board it's classic linux and this board is good for computer vision and this board cost is two times less than nearest competitor which in my opinion is 3568 so Right now, this is the cheapest board with that is good for computer vision with pretty good inference on board. So, in my opinion, it's important board right now. But of course, it's not like the best board you can work with. So that was that, and thank you for your attention. Till the next time, and next board, bye.